I was not academic at school, so I left school at 14 actually, started at an art school. It was there I did a foundation year and then specialised in ceramics. I didn't really you know, realise it would lead to 40 years of making pots. <laughs> Our basic style is based on pots that are thrown, for one thing, which is what I've always done. And obviously I'm, I'm influenced by the fact that I've been brought up next to the sea. All the things in the sea have always been important to me. So um, that's where my roots come from. Barbara just developed this particular technique for painting on pots. She had this truly amazing ability to, to take what she did from a flat piece of paper onto a curved surface, which, which is not an easy thing to do. We needed to come up with a, a fusion of things where we worked together. My throwing, because I throw in a re fairly distinctive way, and uh, her ability to paint on top of those pots sort of defined the style. Very loose, very free. We took the things that we saw every day around us and she had this um, ability to put that down on a pot. Years ago, I loved making big pots. These days, as I'm getting a bit older and a bit stiffer, they're a bit more of a challenge physically. So I'm very happy to sit down at the wheel these days and, and make small, simple items. You get into a rhythm uh, and it's a bit like it's a bit like playing an instrument rhythmically. You, there's a cadence there in, in which you, you sort of drop into, and, and it's, a, it's just a lovely thing to do. I love coming down, just sitting on the wheel, say I've got some turning or something to do, and I've got, I've got Radio 4 on. That is fantastic, to just come down here and be absorbed in your work and listening to something good on the radio. I mean, you, you can't get more relaxed than that, really. It's fantastic. You spend such a long time at work that I always wanted to, I always wanted to do something that I enjoyed. And I always feel it's a great tragedy for people who have to spend, you know, 75% of their life at work and, and can't do something that they enjoy doing. So I've been very fortunate. More importantly, we, we've bought up two children, we managed to buy our own home, our own workshop, simply through making pots. We've never had any other income than what we got from making pots. I think we've pretty much achieved what we, what we wanted to achieve. 